Many have heard of the Grimm's fairy tale of a little girl in a red hood and a wolf in the woods, but there haven't been much films about her. As far as Disney is concerned, the most we get is a silly symphony entitled Little Red Riding Hood, Three Little Pigs and the Wolf, where Red comes across the three little pigs who save her and her grandmother from the big bad wolf. The other one is Disney's adaptation of Stephen Sondheim's musical Into the Woods. However, they've given her some light in Once Upon a Time. Red is raised by her grandmother who gives her a red cloak and is known by the village as Red Riding Hood. Unfortunately, her village is in terror, as every full moon, a wolf attacks. This doesn't help Red, as she has fallen for a blacksmith's son named Peter, but the two dream of running away together someday. With this dream in mind, she volunteers to join a hunting party to finally kill the wolf. Her granny, however, refuses and locks her in the house for safety. She constantly insists Red to wear her cloak as the colour drives off wolves. Red one day comes across Snow White on the run, but identifies her as Mary, and Red offers her shelter. The mayor of the town urges more and more volunteers, but Granny explains this would put people in more peril. Red, not being able to wait any longer to run away with Peter, decides to hunt and kill the wolf herself, and Snow White follows. They discover the wolf's footprints slowly become human footprints in the snow and they lead towards Red and Granny's house. They come to the conclusion that Peter might be the wolf, so Red arranges to meet him at night in the woods, while Snow White will pretend to be her in bed to fool Granny. Even though he doesn't remember anything, Peter believes Red that he is the wolf, and so Red chains him up. She wakes up the next morning, finding Peter attacked and dead, covered in blood. She realizes that she is the wolf. Her grandmother had traded from a wizard the red cloak to prevent her from changing every full moon, and she begs Red for her and Snow to leave the town. While on the run, they try to avoid the evil queen's guards where Snow White reveals who she really is. They part ways as Red doesn't want Snow to be in any more danger. Unfortunately, as Red is left alone, a thief steals her cloak. However, the thief tells her that he is a wolf too, and guides her to a hidden den full of people just like her, including her own mother. During this time, her mother teaches her how to control herself when she transforms. Eventually, Snow White stumbles upon the den, but Red protects her until the evil queen's guards burst in to arrest her. Red's mother blames Snow White for the death of a fellow wolf and tries to attack, but Red defends her still, and the both fight in their wolf form. Her mother accidentally gets killed, but tells her she is disappointed in her as she chose a human over her own pact. Red believes that she is not a killer, and Snow White comforts her, saying that she will support her whether she is human or a wolf.